Araxor is a brand new Slayer boss that was just released into the game on August 28th, 2024. With this new boss comes a variety of new drops, gear, and weapons into the game. I'm also going to be challenging myself to kill Araxor for two weeks straight every single day so that I can see how many kills I can get within that time. There is a big opportunity to make a lot of money with new content. This includes a brand new Slayer helmet, the new extended anti-venom potions, the Noxious Halberd, the new Best in Slot Amulet of Rancor for Melee, which replaces the Amulet of Torture, and the very first untradeable Jar of Venom. And of course, we can't forget about a brand new pet into the game, which of course is the main reason for me coming to this boss for this series. So welcome back to Pet Roulette, the series in which I spin a randomly generated wheel of pets two times so that you, the viewers, can vote on a poll to select which boss I camp next for the pet. In the last episode, we made managed to snag ourselves the Vedion pet at an amazing 49kc at Calvarion. This time, I'm hoping that luck continues with a new boss. I did live stream this every day since release, so go follow me over on Twitch. I'll even be live right now when this video is uploaded, link down below. Now there's two drops that we'll be looking for from Araxor that could make a lot of gold. That would be the Noxious Halberd and of course the Amulet of Rancor. Now the Noxious Halberd actually drops in three separate pieces, so in order to even make it and sell it, I need to get three three separate drops for it. Each of these is about a 1 in 200 chance to get. The Amulet of Rancor is made from the Araxite Fang drop, which is a 1 in 600 chance of getting, so hopefully with some good luck I can manage to snag a few of these and make big money. And now we have to talk about the newest pet, Nid. Just like all other Slayer bosses, the pet drop rate is 1 in 3000, however Araxor does have a drop called the Coagulated Venom, which is used on the pet to create the transmog version of the pet called Rax. And for the last month and a half before release, I've done a ton of Slayer Point boosting and managed to get myself about 33,700 Slayer Points, which should be enough to get a lot of Araxite tasks and have enough left over for later because I do still need to get the GG's pet, Thermi pet, and Sir pet from Slayer. But I'm logging out here at Curadel for now, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. for Araxor because, yes, I'm going to be waking up very early for it. Have any of you ever just signed up for a subscription service and just somehow forgot about it then like a month or two later you realize that you just got charged for it i know i have and thankfully with today's sponsor rocket money they're here to help rocket money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions lower bills and manage your money better i'm personally using rocket money to help track my spending and manage my bills and after setting it up i realized that i just absolutely forgot to cancel a subscription service i haven't used in the last few months that i just completely forgot about i'm also using rocket money to set budgets for myself as it analyzes my spending habits so that I can just look back at what I'm spending on and I can then easily create a budget for myself as Rocket Money helps me analyze where I'm spending my money to better allocate a personalized budget that works for me. Rocket Money has helped save its customers up to $740 a year when they use all the features with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. You never know when you're getting charged an extra dollar or two for a monthly fee for a video game. So to save more money and spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash drum or click on the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash drum to get started for free. Uh, okay. Oh god. Okay guys, what's up? It's like it's 6 a.m. Let's go ahead. Update just came out. Let's check the extension thing first. I actually imagine it'd be at the bottom. Yeah, okay. Whenever you get an Araxite task, it's a bigger task. There goes 150 points immediately, and uh, I might as well do this now. Where is it? Yeah, this one. The Slayer Helmet. I definitely like the Slayer Helmet. I'm going to go ahead and waste the 1,000 points now. Anyways, and uh, we're already down a lot of points. But uh, I do have a Banked Gargoyles task, but that's for later on. Don't really care about that right now. I just want an Araxite task immediately, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. Oh my god, the very first one. Let's fucking go. <laughs> okay, 248, and I'm going to be wearing 
uh, Bracelet of Slaughter the entire time, so I'm chilling. As far as gear goes, I'm really not too sure. Actually, before, instead of these Torval legs, let me just switch these out for the Inquisitor Plate Skirt for more crush bonus. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect in terms of what I should be even bringing. I'm sure everyone's kind of like in the same boat, but I kind of set this up beforehand about an hour ago. I've been up, like I said, it's like 6 a.m. right now. The update just dropped. And uh, maybe about an hour ago, Jagex released a video, uh, and it looked like we're going to need a couple switches for some of the Araxite spawns in there. Not Araxor, but the smaller spiders, so to speak. So, not really sure. I think I want to bring only one of these each for now. Uh, not really sure if I'm even going to need full-on switches. I uh, I don't know. We'll just have to we'll just have to wait and see. There is one spider in there that kind of like reflects damage, but you can attack it from afar and kill it before it gets near you. Uh, hopefully, I can explain this later on when we get into the fight because I haven't killed any yet. But I guess we'll just uh, you know have to wait and see. Oh yeah, and here we go. Araxor collection log. Here's the pet called Nid. Interesting. Um, Araxi venom stack. Uh, the uh, teleport fang. Oh, there's th that's the halberd. Um, you need three pieces to make the halberd. That, I believe, is the amulet upgrade thing. Araxite head for the slayer helm, the jar, which is untradeable, and whatever that's for. Maybe that's for the potions. Alright, that's a very interesting encounter. Trying to figure out how to actually, like, avoid everything and try to recognize all the attacks there, but, uh... I guess drops don't drop normally, you gotta actually, like, harvest it? That's interesting. But other other than that, it's, like, it's not too bad, just trying to figure out how to, like, do things, I guess, and see what the attacks are, but, uh... Like, not, not terrible, terrible. Should take a little bit to actually kind of understand what the, the boss fight and the mechanics are, I suppose. Ooh, you can damage a Raxor with that um, exploding one as long as it's like under it, I guess. It just dealt it a 77, so that's uh, that's good to know. And I'm tagging this thing. Gonna be easier to see, especially for the... I think actually it's about to start. Is this the one? Okay, this is the one where the scree is the... Interesting. Okay, you gotta move like two tiles each for that one. And it looks like that's on a four tick cycle. Okay, that's not... It's, it's not too bad once you kind of get the hang of it. Hey, I beat my PB by like four seconds. 2KC. Death runes. All right. Let's see how long it takes for me to get my first unique here. I do hope I get the Slayer Helmet first. That'd be pretty neat. Actually, that's not true. I want the amulet first so I can try and sell that for as much money as possible as early on as possible. But on, like honestly, this is, this is not too bad. I feel like eventually, pretty soon, I'll probably understand what the mechanics are and learn how to avoid everything. See that? I'm getting attacked by this thing already. I, I don't know if it's like better to attack this immediately. Okay, I guess it is, but it still hit me a 22 out of that 44 that I hit it, so I guess it deals half my damage back to me. Ooh, okay, kind of close. I'm going to need to go redo my inventory, probably. 130, though. All right, not bad. Two dragon maces. Interesting. Yeah, let me go ahead. I'm gonna go back and redo my inventory. We do- we are supposed to get teleports from this boss. I'm not sure if it's gonna be, like, exactly the same as, like, Serb and Keymaster teleports, but I just brought a whole bunch of Hollowed Sepulcher uh, teleports because it seems to be, like, the quickest banking option, probably. But, uh, honestly, this isn't too bad. Hey, there we go. We got a Venom Sack thing. Oh, this is for the potions, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but honestly, the, the fight isn't honestly bad at all. Seems pretty easy. Just uh, different mechanics we just gotta get used to and avoid. So if you, as long as you can, like, see things going, you're chilling. Alright, real quick. I kind of want to see something. This uh, Venom Sack, is this actually the thing for the Venoms? Ooh, okay. You don't have enough ingredients. I need four... Venom sacks for one potion. Okay, this is basically going to make uh, like anti venom plus plus, I believe, and it's basically just going to allow for the venom to last longer. An extended anti venom plus plus potion or whatever. Oh, okay, spider cave teleports. Are these even tradable? They might be tradable. Hold up. They are tradable. Okay, gotcha. Good to know. 
That's actually going to be useful later on. They're going to be pretty expensive for a while, obviously, but uh, I might save up mine just for a little bit. Since these are tradable, I'm not sure what the drop rate is, but that's going to be a lot better than using hollowed, uh, sub uh, hollowed sepulcher crystals or whatever. So that that's going to be nice. Hey, first elite clue of the grind. Uh, I don't really want to do these immediately because I want to spend as much time as possible actually killing a Raxor. So what I think I'm going to do, I don't think my trips last too long. I usually just go through one full divine potion. And I think what I'm going to do is just, uh, you know, juggle it every, every time I go bank, which shouldn't be too bad. Ooh, okay, a Raxi head. All right, fuck this place. I'm leaving real quick. I'm gonna go make this head, this new Slayer helmet, real quick. I want to make this one ASAP. Where did I put it? There you are. Can I, I just combine it? We're good. Hell yeah. Okay. I actually like this uh, this Slayer helmet. Not gonna lie. I think it looks pretty neat. Doesn't match with what I'm using right now, but um, it's still still pretty neat. Hey, that's my second elite. I'll take it. Nah, no luck yet. Just the Slayer Helmet. Make that two Slayer Helmets. God, man. Okay. <laughs> the bait. Two Erexite heads. Okay. The timing on that one was super weird. Ooh, Clue Scroll. I'll take that. I say, yeah, that's my third one. Yo, another elite. Okay. Oh shit, is that the is that the amulet? Is that the amulet right there? Wait, hold up. I think what is that? The noxious pommel? Is that the amulet? Hold on, I might teleport away from this one. Is that is that what I think it is? Oh, that's the axe? Man! Okay. I got myself all hyped up for nothing. I was about to be like, let's go make some money real quick. But no oh yeah, it is the uh it is that. Sad. It's the fang that is that. Okay, never mind. That's still that's still pretty cool though. That's something. That's one out of three pieces for the new halberd. So I'll take it. That's good. We finally saw our first kind of drop, so I'll take that. I did think it was the amulet, not gonna lie, so I was excited there. I was like, hey, money, but no money. <laughs> not yet at least. Not yet. Oh, that felt like a much slower kill than that was. Oh shit! Yo, there we go. That's the amulet, right, right there. Araxite Fang. I'm teleporting out of here immediately. <laughs> Good. It's definitely not as uh, not worth as much as it was earlier today, obviously. But I will take whatever this is worth now. Surely it's still worth over a hundred mil. Let me just grab one of my amulets, and I think that's all I got to do. Yes, combine. Oh yeah, there's like a whole new animation with this thing too, which is kind of interesting. Oh, it like stabs it. That's pretty cool. Picks it up. The animation's super cool. But there we go. Amulet of Rancor. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty neat. I like the color for it. It'll match the Pharaoh gloves more. But let's see how much this thing is worth. Ooh, Blood Runes. It looks like it's selling for about 105. It's probably dropping though. Let's see if I can sell it for exactly 109. No, it's it's crash. Oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. I had to be sad for a second and complain. 109 mil. There we go. Now I hopefully hopefully we can see more. Just the pet, two more halberd pieces, jar, and then the uh, that's the pet transmog thing. Hey, elite clue. You know what? I guess uh, now nah, well, let, let me finish this trip and then I'll go drop it. That's the fifth one of the day. Ooh, I got another uh, halberd piece. Let's go. Noxious point. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Now we just need one more to make it. We need the noxious blade. That's all we need. And we can make the halberd. I don't know what the halberd is worth right now. Probably not as much as the amulet, but the sooner I get this, the more money I make from it, basically. Oh, no. Another Araxi head. Okay, that's my third one. Surely these are worth 100 mil, right? Oh, 36k high elk. That was a slow kill. Immediately click, 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 click. I, I spam clicked it. Yo, it worked. There we go. Okay. Coagulated Venom. All right. You're all right. Bad XP. You win. I'm just going to assume that you were right. So I immediately, I remembered last second. I'm like, fucking spam click it. We're good. Ooh, first elite for the day at least. I'll take that one. That's good. I got six elites yesterday as well. Oh, no. I finished my task. 
Oh no, sad. Here comes the, the part where I might have to waste a lot of points. Not a bad first task though. I got assigned 248. Braces of Slaughter put in work. 337 kills for the first one. Not bad at all. Trolls, hell no. Get out of here. Oh, less Araxites this time, but that's fine. 212. That means I don't have to be here for too long trying to get a task or waste a lot of points. Oh shit, we got it! The Noxious Blade! There we go! Oh wait, wait, I can actually make the, um... I can go make the Halberd. Hold up, we gotta leave for this. I don't know what it's worth right now, but it's not gonna be as much as it was yesterday, of course. But, it is a little bit of money. And I will always take a little bit of money. Yeah, combine... Oh, what's the animation? Oh, there's no animation for it. Hey, there we go. Like, it, it does look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty cool. But I will take the money for sure. What are the stats on this thing again? 80 stab, 132 slash, 142 melee strength, 3 sa Okay, so it's a 5 tick. Let's see how much it sells for, though. I'll probably have to buy this in the future again. But it's gonna be a lot cheaper for, you know, when I buy mine later. But for now, where the prices are high, I'm gonna sell this. What are they going for? Oh, they're going for literally 51 mil right now. Give me this now before the prices crash even more. 50 mil, just under. Oh, and now for the collection log, actually, we just need the jar and the pet now. That's not bad. <laughs> and I got 200 kills left on this task specifically. Yeah, I wanted to sell that now before the prices drop, and I'll just buy mine later on. Because um, for those that don't know, at least, there's a, there's a kit for the amulet of Rancor, and you need basically all the items on you to get the kit, or whatever it's called. So I'm gonna have to buy that back later on. But I'll worry about that when I actually get the pet, because you need the pet in order to get the, the amulet piece as well, so that could take a little bit of time. Oh, a Raxite head. Okay, that's my, that's my fourth one, I think. <gasps> Elite clue, let's go. I'll drop that uh, off at the bank after this trip. Right, I guess clear my inventory for loot. Not that kind of loot game, all right? I wanted to clear my inventory for like at least the fang, not the head. Oh, let's go. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna leave on this one. We got another fang. Let's go. Hell yes. All right. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go make another amulet. I'm probably gonna keep this one so I can actually have it. And then I can just sell any other ones that I get after this. So that's cool. Thank you. It took a little while to get another unique, but uh, I'm super happy with that. Hell yeah. It's a good thing I have a, uh, I have a few torchers right here. Let's just go ahead and add this. I do kind of want to sell it for the money. I guess I'll just keep an eye on the prices. The animation's so dope with that though. But let's see. Yeah, stab. 10 stab slash crush, 2 melee strength. Now I just need a pet. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh man, I'm kind of leaning on selling it for money. Because I do want money. I don't need the money. Oh man, is it down to 78 mil now? Okay, no, no. The last trade was at 88 mil. All right, I, I think I'm still going to keep this for now. And any more that I get that I, I, you know, I'll probably just sell. I am going to be here for quite a while longer. So surely I'll see another one, right? Oh, there goes the Slayer task. All right, did we get something on the last one for this task, though? Earth orbs. Unlucky for that, but let's go get another task. But two tasks so far for uh, 613 kills is not bad at all. all right, it kind of feels the same. We got one, though. It took 12. Ooh, okay. Noxious Pommel. We're starting our next uh, halberd here. First dupe of that one. Holy shit, what? A Noxious Blade already? What? We just got the other halberd piece like a few kills ago, not even. That's some damn good RNG. We might be able to make another halberd soon. Oh, let's go, a fang. Yes, okay. Hell yeah, that's my third one. I'm teleporting away. We got to sell this, make a little bit more money. Let's go. Let's see how much they are. How much have they, have they dropped in price? They need to do more animations like this. It's pretty cool. You just stab it. Boom. Amulet of... Rancor. Ooh, 92 mil. Hold up. Is it gonna sell for that? Oh, it is! Let's go. 90 mil. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm happy. Little bit of money. Cash stack is looking pretty healthy, too. And now we get to go back. No way! Let's go! Okay. We got our halberd piece. I'm not gonna leave this task yet, but I can make my second halberd. That's damn good. All right, today's been uh, really good so far. I will absolutely take that. I'm going to be keeping the, the halberd that I make, though, because I'm going to need it later on when I actually do get the pet, and I can get the amulets of Rancor kits or whatever. All right, let me see. Give me these. And we make the halberd. Neat. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm actually getting close to 60,000 subscribers, so that'd be pretty awesome. Surely we hit 100k in a year, right? Oh, there's the last skill of the task. What do we get, though? Give me something. Two of the finest dragon maces. Oh, there we are. 208 Araxites. I'm not gonna lie, I stopped counting. That was a lot. How many points do I have left? 30,915. Uh, that's still good. 20, so yeah, I think I went through like a thousand points there, something like that. Alright, show me money. Oh, okay, it's kind of money. A Noxious Pommel, another Halberd piece. I will absolutely take that one. That's the second Halberd piece today. And now I've, uh, just begun making my third Halberd. There's- what? I'm already starting off with a unique today? <laughs> what is this? A noxious point? Okay. Alright. I mean, that's awesome. I need one more halberd piece to make my third halberd, I guess. That's pretty good. 1,000 kills. Death runes. Hey, that's clean, though. Ooh! What? Okay. <laughs> what? Already? Alright, there's no way. I'm gonna finish this trip. But I just got another halberd piece. I can make my third one. What in the world is my RNG with these halberd pieces? I don't get it. But I'll uh, I'll continue to take it. That's pretty damn cool. All right, noxious halberd. Let's see how much this sells for. I kept my second one. This one we're gonna sell. Oh, 43 mil. Okay, it dropped a bit, which I'm not surprised on. But still, 40 mil. I'll take it. Yo, let's go! We got a jar of venom! That's what I wanted to get before I uh, got the pet here. Oh, that's so cool! Let's go! <laughs> let's go, I'm happy about that. Pick up this elite real quick, head to the POH. That's awesome. Now I'm just missing one thing for the log. We just need the pet, and then we're green logged. That's awesome. That's what I wanted to see. I don't have a boss display case thing made, but I'll make that a little bit later on. And the best part about this jar, it's not tradable. So it actually slightly means something and it's a, a little bit of a flex. At this point, I've completed my Araxor collection log except for the pet. Jagex did add a new pet hunting mechanic for Araxor. Normally, the pet drop rate is 1 in 3,000, but you now have two choices after a kill. You can either harvest the body for regular and unique drops, or you can destroy the body to double the pet drop rate to 1 in 1500 but if you do so you'll forfeit all other loot except for clues meaning you get no drops and make no money here i won't destroy the body because i'm here to make money the pet will drop eventually and rng is rng you could still go dry even with better odds so if i'm gonna go dry for a pet i may as well make some gp while doing it plus destroying the body means i have no loot to show in videos and then when i loot this it's gonna be uh there's gonna be a fang in it Oh my god, what? I just got a noxious po well, I just got another halberd piece. What is going on? That's not the item I called, but I still got a unique there. That's pretty dope. I called a unique, but the wrong one. I'm starting my fourth halberd now. What is this RNG at Araxor here? You're gonna get a bunch of drops, but no pet. Spiders just ain't your thing. Alright, watch me get this pet right here to prove you wrong. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, it's not a pet. But I just got a halberd piece. What is going on? I'm about to make my fourth halberd like today. That's pretty cool. Wait, that's my 11th piece overall, I think. I need one more to make the fourth one. Real quick, I finally decided to go ahead and make that boss display case thing in the POH. Added all my jars that I've gotten myself throughout all my PVM pet hunting grinds. And wanted to add and see what the jar of venom looked like in here. And it actually looks pretty cool. Even better now that it's actually the first jar that is untradeable. What? I just started off with a- what? I just started the stream! What is going- what is going on? Why am I getting another noxious blade? That's my- that's my fourth halberd. I just have to finish this task and get a- <laughs> what is going on? The twelfth uh, halberd piece. Another jar? Game! Well, I just got one like 30 kills ago, like yesterday. What is this trip? <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on. The RNG is on point today for sure. All right, grab these. Make halberd. These are like, these have uh, dropped in price a bit. I think the last halberd I sold was like 40 something mil. Now they're sadly like 30. Yeah, they're, they're like 35. Still a little bit of money. All right, I got 36 and a half mil for it. Oh no, I'm out of my, t oh, that was the last task. Oh no, sad. Okay. Oh, uh, I didn't notice that I ran out of a task there. Darn. 248 Araxites, there we go. Oh, I didn't mean to step. Oh, I lived? What? I re- what? Okay, I don't know what happened there. 
I thought I died, but I regen one HP. I like misclicked and stepped under way too, uh, way too early there. I mean, that was on purpose as a st strategy. Okay, so that's the first drop after a while. How did I know it was going to be another halberd piece? I swear. <laughs> that's still funny. I guess I'm starting my next uh, halberd, which will be number five. Noxious Blade, 1385 KC. That's kind of crazy. I got to get these things to catch up with the halberd pieces, I swear. Oh, okay. I guess we're getting another Araxite head. Ooh, Clue Scroll. Oh, okay, the bracelet of slaughter didn't work. Unlucky. What do we get for the last kill? We get ourselves Fang. Oh, Hellhounds. I don't want to do Serb right now. That's one. 54. A rat? What? You're going to give me a specific Rex? You piece of sh- I'll take what I can get. We get 55. It's something. Yo, let's go! We got a Fang! Let's go! It was worth it. All those tasks right there just to get a 55 one. <laughs> it was worth it. Let's go. Made some money. Thank God. That was awful. <laughs> it was okay. It was okay. It was all worth it. Make a little money today. Now let's see how long it takes for me to get another Fang. Because uh, the last one was at 812 KC. So let's just not go that dry for another one, please. Pop this into the GE. 70 mil. Money always good. This is why I don't want to destroy the spider. Wait, I literally just got a nothing drop. What? That's the first time that's happened. That's weird. That's, uh, that's, un that's unfortunate. Oh, there's the task completed. Do we get anything on the last one? You seed. Nothing. All right, let's see if we can uh, not go as dry as we did last time to get a task. I don't want to waste that many points again. That's one, two, 13. Thank God. Okay, there we go. 13. How did I know? I told you guys I was going to get a... A halberd piece at the start. <laughs> I knew I was going to get that today. I didn't get any halberd pieces yesterday, which was very weird for my RNG. Yo, a fang! Let's go! <laughs> I'm so happy about that. We literally just got a, a halberd piece like a couple kills ago. That's crazy. Let's go. I'm happy. I made money today. Surely sells for this. No. They're dropped. Oh, it, it sold. Okay, we're good. Not too bad. Looking at the history of things, though, yeah, 70.4 mil is what it's so far. And the damn taxes taking my money. Yo, Noxious Point, let's go. Okay, we just made our fifth halberd with that one. What is my luck with this boss? It's kind of crazy. Thank you for the 30 mil, 31 mil. There we go. Cash stack looking healthy. Let's see if we can get another, well, multiple more fangs. I still have five amulets of torture, so I need five more. What? Oh, there it is. Okay. I just had to complain for a little bit and we get a unique. Another halberd piece, though. 1805 KC. I guess we can make a six one, you know? I was going to just, just work on that a little bit. Oh, there's the last kill. Ooh, the, the kill ended on 1900 KC as well. That's kind of clean. What do we get? 1900 KC. Ooh, elite clue. All right, that's good. It's not a fang, but it could be money later. Guesses in the chat how many how many skips is it gonna take for me to get my next task? Oh, no back to back though. All right, that's one, two, three, 21, 22. Okay, 22. Who was closest? Okay, it was the last kill of this trip either way. <laughs> Scuff mean stuff, right? Oh no, not the silver ore. Oh, okay, it's been a while since I've seen that RDT drop right there. Whatever. Oh no. Yes! Yeah, okay, cool. Today's good. I'm happy. There's our thing. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, thank God. Okay. I'm good. I told you I was going to get a thing before 2000 KC, and it happened. Fang number six. Oh, it sold. Let's go. Nice. All right, I'm happy with that. Oh, sold for 82. I will take the money. 2,000 kills. That's pretty neat. And nothing. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was the thing. I, I thought that was the thing. We got another uh, halberd piece. There's no way I just finished my my halberd, uh, my six one. I just I just got another halberd piece. Last kill of that trip too. 
KC 2080. That's literally, look, they're all sixes, six fangs, six halberd pieces each. That's such a crazy log. That's so insane. Oh yeah, they've gone down a bit, but it's okay. Sells for like 27 mil. Yeah, 27 and a half mil. That's money. That's 27 mil I didn't have before. I'll take it. Good drop. Task over. Let's go get a new one. 16 skips for that one. Oh, that's awful. A ruined spear. All right. You know what? Maybe it's enough for Raxor for now. <laughs> Pack it up. Call it a day here. For anyone wondering, that's a RDT for sure. That's got to be like a one in who knows how many thousands. Oh, uh, there's the first elite clue of the day at least. It's something. Better than the Rx I hit that we got earlier. Oh, okay. We actually made it. That was the last kill of the task. Had no food. Rune play legs. All right. Brace of the Slaughter didn't go off, but I'm just going to destroy this now so I can just go get a new one. But more importantly, I need to get a new task. All right, let's see. Let's count. One. Darn, it didn't happen. All right, so that's 65. 66! Hey, there we go. Okay, I told you. RNG starting to turn around. Noxious point. It's not the thing. But now I just need one more halberd piece to make my seventh overall halberd. Ooh, Noxious Blade. There we go. Seventh Halberd completed. And the Halberd is now worth 25 mil, it looks like. Yeah, just about 25 mil. We got 24.8 mil back from it, which is not bad at all. Money good. Oh, there goes my task. What do we get for the last kill of this one? Two Dragon Play Legs. Ooh, okay, that was 11 times, I think. 236 Araxites. Let's go back. Well, actually, making money at the new boss is going to be difficult. Maybe. Everyone's going to be going in teams. Oh, well, there goes my internet again. <laughs> yeah, thanks, game. Thanks, internet. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so this morning, the combat achievements for Arax are finally came out, and it looks like we've got five completed already. Looks like they gave me the kill count ones, and for some reason, I think this is the first time it's happened, they gave me the speed runs. Uh, kill Arax or six times in ten minutes. That's interesting, but I'm glad to have them done. Let's get started with all the other ones. So the combat test that I'm going to be working on first is Perfect Araxor and Perfect Araxor 2. Basically, you can't take any damage from any source from anything in this room. That includes all of the mini spiders, the white, red, and green ones. Can't get hit by any of the special attacks. Can't stand on any acid pools. Literally nothing. You, you can't take any damage from any source off prayer at all. There is a little bit of chip damage from Araxor but that doesn't count thankfully and the part of perfect Arax or two is you do all of that by taking no damage but you also cannot attack Arax or during the enrage phase at this point a lot of people already know that there is a step under method for Arax or where it damages itself and when it damages you it will leave a acid pool on the ground of the tile that you were standing on and as long as you're standing underneath it's only going to leave one acid pool instead of three if you're standing outside of it so the method for this one at that point is to stand under a Raxor and just survive until it basically kills itself. You just move two tiles every time and the hard part about this is in the enrage phase you must pray range against the range spider. You can kill it if you want to uh, but you don't necessarily need to but you do need to watch out for the mirror back spider when it spawns just attack it you're all good you should be switched into your ballista to attack it from afar so you don't take reflected damage and after that, at that point, Araxor should kill itself because it deals anywhere between like 8 and 12 damage to itself when you're standing under it. The only thing is just watch out for the acid pools underneath Araxor. And of course, just watch out for the red exploding Araxor mini spider thing when it comes to you. But it should basically kill itself before it even, you know, gets close to you. And then that's the two tasks. Perfect ones completed. Next combat achievement I worked on is called Swimming in Venom. Basically, you kill Araxor without the boss ever moving so you can run around the boss itself you can see my tile on the screen right now from npc indicator plugin you see that square just be on the border of that the entire time you will take some damage with venom but it's honestly not too bad and it's super easy next task is called relax gamer i just went around with my scythe and destroyed the eggs usually in like a couple hints i'm not sure what other weapons would be best but just go around destroy six eggs and then after that just kill the boss as normal 
Next up is one called Araxite Betrayal. You have to have an Araxite kill three other Araxites. The easiest way I found about doing this is let some of the mini Araxites spawn. I had one Ranger and then I let two Mirabak Spiders spawn. Wherever the Ranger Spider was, I just walked over and stood next to it while the Mirabak Spiders were on me. Let them pile on top of each other and then I just sat there and waited until the next red explosive spider spawned. Once it walked up to me, it exploded, killed the other three, and that was the task over, and then you just killed the boss right after. The next task is called Let It Seep In, and you basically just walk into the room, have no antidote, no anti-venoms, nothing like that. You can, however, is use Cure Me, which is a spell in the Lunar Spellbook. It basically cures venom, but it does not give you immunity to venom, which is the key to this task, so you can have that, because we know that when you have venom applied to you over time, the damage gets higher and higher, but if you use the Cure Me spell from the Lunar Spellbook, you can basically reset that. Makes it pretty comfortable. You're still going to take a little bit of damage from the poison slash venom while you're in the fight, but I mean, you'll probably go through like a handful of food. It's really not too bad. Another one that's pretty easy. Oh, are you kidding me? We're starting off with a Noxious Pommel? <laughs> okay, game. Why is it always the Halberd pieces? Never the fangs. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm making my, working towards my eighth halberd, I guess. I need two more to make a little bit of money. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the t kill ten or in one trip, and I still have plenty of supplies. I guess I didn't need to bring my ancient god sword because I brought my blood fury for this one. Just, you know, just in case I wanted to have that double insurance, so to speak. But that's not too bad. 2888 KC for that one. And I'm pretty sure that is the very last, very last task that I needed. Okay, yeah, I've got all the Arax or tasks completed now. Combat achievements wise. So we're good. We're chilling. Wait, that was a PB? 56 seconds? How the f what? I wasn't even trying. I didn't even bring claws or anything like that. Neat. Oh no! Okay. That's the one drop I didn't want to see anymore. 100 silver or 20 kills to go. Wait, it literally gave me nothing. That's fucked up. <laughs> okay, game. I know there's a nothing chance from the RDT uh, table, drop table, whatever, but damn, that hurts. See, that's how it would feel if I were to destroy. That would be every kill. Oh, no fang. Okay, it's officially been 1,000 kills. Since I saw my last thing, I can now be sad about it. If only my RNG was the same for the first couple thousand kills. If it was, I would have seen at least three more things. All right, let's see. What do we get? 3,000 KC exactly. Looks nice and clean. Three Renar seed. We are now officially dry. It is unfortunate, but it happens. 3,001 KC. Nothing. Sharks unlucky so obviously i made a lot of money from arax or just in uniques and counting up all the common drops that i got over there it looks like i should be getting about 100 mil back i'll probably keep some of the things like maybe some of the ore the runes i've kept uh, but i'm gonna be selling most things and see what i get back and after selling everything i got about 89 million gold back which means i made a total of 856 mil total from arax or which is pretty crazy here's my log 3001 KC just missing the pet and now I'm dry for four different Slayer pets plus I got to go back to Seracnus one day and get that pet too. So not only was it 100% worth it to camp Araxa for 100 hours I even got to be in the top 100 on the high scores for this boss. Learn to trust in them for all our sakes. For only together can you stop. They're rising darkness.